So these two totem poles here have the story about the Canadian International School of Hong Kong. At the top of this totem is the raven design. The midsection, starting about here to here, is the wolf. And the bottom design is mother bear. And she's holding a book which is symbolic of education, teaching, wisdom. She's a protector of her children. And that means the children of the school. So in this area that you see here, is the wolf with the leg. It's the back part of the leg. And then the front part of the leg is the claw, which actually reaches through the ear, which you can see here, of the bear. And on the back of the wolf is a shield. And this shield is called Hayats. Chinchan tribal traditions. This Hayatsk was a very valuable copper shield. It belonged to the chiefs, symbolic of their strength and power through the spirit of the Creator. So that is the Hayatsk shield, and it has my family's tribal raven crest on it. And of course, at the top of the raven's head, is the yin yang symbol. On the other totem to the right, you can see the head of the water dragon. And this water dragon is perched on the tail. of the orca. So the tail starts here and these are the two tips of the tail here. So you can see the dragon is biting the tail of the whale his body wraps around the body of the orca. This is the dorsal fin, which you see straight on. Blowhole. These are the pectoral fins. But this one, on this side of the orca, has the wing of the water dragon. You can see it eye of the orca is peeking through the wing, which shows the transparency of the water and the two creatures playing in the water. This is the claw of the water dragon, and here is the mouth, which you can see goes this way of the orca. Now the orca is perched on top of the head right here it just joins the top of the head of the mountain lion. Now the mountain lion is also having fun with these two creatures. And he's holding on to the tail of the dragon which you see here wrap down here and 
but he's also biting his own tail which wraps up from behind him. Here's his claw and it's holding on to his tail. So that's an overview of the two totems that I'm creating for the school in Hong Kong. In addition to enhancing the Chinese aspect of this totem pole are traditional Chinese designs which I put into the background spaces as you can see in here and in here we're getting a little bit busy now but you can see any background areas there's traditional Chinese designing in the background and that is the the story of the story totems being created for the Canadian International School of Hong Kong. Music